Welcome everybody to uh, Trinity House here in London and welcome to our viewers live on Sky Sports News. We gather here today for some major news in the world of British and world boxing. We're delighted to announce at Matchroom Sport the signing of James De Gale um, to our team and perhaps more importantly the addition of him to the huge George Groves Carl Froch bill at Wembley on May the 31st. We're delighted to announce that James De Gale will face the unbeaten Brendan Gonzalez in a final eliminator for the IBF world title. So uh, yeah, that's right, uh, James De Gale uh, will fight for an opportunity to face the winner of Carl Froch against George Groves. May the 31st, a huge night for world boxing, just got a lot, lot bigger and uh, I'm going to pass over to James to say a few words. Yeah, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back big. Uh, the, last, the last year or so has been very frustrating for me. Uh, if I'm brutally honest, I've been, I've been, I've been depressed. But uh, that's the past, that's the past. I'm looking forward to the future now. The future is looking extremely bright. Uh, it's a fast seat box and uh, enjoy the ride with me because it should be exciting. I'm looking forward to it. James, a few words about the fight itself and potentially what it could lead to in terms of that massive domestic clash. Potentially, the, the fights out there for me are crazy, are crazy. Uh, but Brendan Gonzalez, I can't look past this guy. Uh, he's unbeaten. Uh, he trained with Andre Ward and Amir Khan, so that must inspire him uh, a lot more. Uh, and this guy's a good fighter. I've seen a couple clips of him. Uh, he's a box fighter. He's he can, he, can, he can box inside, he can box uh, on the back foot, so I can't overlook this guy. So all my focus is on Brandon Gonzalez. After I've dealt with him, then the, then the big fights are there, uh, the massive fights are there. That's exactly what I need to motivate me uh, and to get me boxing the best I can. Uh, so as I say, man, I'm just, I'm thinking in a short space of time that we've announced it. Even as for I feel really energized. I feel like I've got a new piece of life. Uh, so you are definitely going to see the best big big out in coming fights. And of course, the opportunity to face the winner. Talk a little bit about that fight itself and, uh, and the potential of the fight against the winner. Well, who you want, who you think you'll face. That's what makes me excited. The winner of Frog Stroke. Who do I want to win? I'm not fast. Yeah, I'm not fast. To be honest, I think Frotch is an easier fight. I think he's made for me, and I've said that for ages. Me and George Grove is perfect. I get a bit tired of getting angry and thinking about it, and talking about it. Uh, but I want them to get along with their business and do their stuff, and I'm just behind them. I'm ready, but whoever's there, I'm ready to do it, man. And deal with them, but I've got to concentrate on Brandon Gonzalez. This guy is a good fighter. He's not a war robot. So, we're one of the best coaches in the world here. I'm half fit already. Seven weeks time, I'm going to be a beast. I'm going to be a beast. So, when we stay here, literally, listen, I run past that every day. On my casual runs, on my uh, steady runs, I run past that every day. So, I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm looking forward to it. So, let's say, man, prepare yourself. Exciting ride coming up. Thanks James, obviously uh, very exciting for us, a huge time for British boxing and a huge time in the 168 pound division. Um, like James said, that huge fight at Wembley on May the 31st and now an opportunity for James to fight the winner of that fight itself. I'm going to uh, pass over to Ambrose Mendy, James Miguel's business advisor, to say a few words and um, then we'll be hearing from Jim McDonald as well. Hello, um, obviously night James. I'm really excited about the future. Suddenly some sunshine came to replace the clouds that have been there for quite some time. And I'll be able to relate further on that at another time, perhaps on another day. But what is important is James now has first class, top draw representation. No more talking. This is instant. It's happening. Some may say that James is going to be stuck in the deep end. Well, he likes deep end. And I say this, and I'm up close and personal with James, the James D. Gow that you've seen so far, on a scale of 10, is probably 4. You do not know what 
James E. Gow has got to aspire to be. And I'm very fortunate. I represented a guy from his infancy right the way through to the heights in the United States who is acclaimed as being the most exciting fighter we've ever produced out of this country, Nigel Benton. You've got something similar coming from James. James is special. He has skills. Oh, what we're going to see. And this all starts with Brandon Gonzalez. You know, Wembley Stadium, whether it is 60, 85,000, what an atmosphere. Let's remember one thing, everybody, even you, George Groves, let's remember this. James is fighting against an American. This is Britain versus USA. So all those, you know, Groves cohorts, don't insult the flag. If Carl Frosch qualifies by beating Carl Frosch, and I personally don't think he will, um, then there is a great fight to be had. Either way, it's going to be great. And, and personally, having dealt with your old man, it's fantastic. Um, I really look forward to working with Eddie. He's been 100% honest and open. And I should tell you, every major promoter in the world uh, has been in contact. That, that says something. The other issues, we'll deal with them at the appropriate time. Messages for those, you know, are haters, bring it on. Bring it on, this is for real. Thanks very much, Ed. Thank you, Ambrose. And uh, over to Jim McDonald, long, long time coach, and I've uh, known Jimmy for many years myself, and uh, delighted to be working with you, Jim, as well. A few words about James and also the Gonzalez fight. Hello to everybody, just to say first of all, um, this is a bit of a day job for me because you know how you know when I joined Eddie's dad, Barry Hearn, and um, without trying to script it funny, it's like being a fat tire got pumped up. And just watching James Spar yesterday in the gym, exactly the same thing happened. He just looked different, he looks happy, he looks focused, he looks ready, he looks excited. He just said to me a minute ago, what's happened with training? He's just so on it, and um, I think everyone's been feeling excited and red, and I think he's bringing back a big time to the boxing. I mean, everyone went to the other Ben Newbank and Watson and yeah, you can see him he's coming through again. Eddie's going to get the right behind here, promote it with all the Razzle Class. It's an exciting time for everyone. And just dealing with the with James Ward fasting back, as what Adam has already said, oh, in the hearts, you've probably only seen 50% of James and you'll see the other 50% in the next three or four years because he's, on, he's up and on for him. So let's have a good one, guys. Thanks, Jim, and thanks everyone for attending today. Um, on, on a few other notes, we we'll be, should be getting news in the next 48 hours regarding the additional capacity at Wembley. Uh, James has also come on for quite a few of those tickets as well. Uh, further announcements um, early next week regarding the other fights on the car, but this is the big one. We're delighted to get this made. Delighted to be working with Gary Shaw as well in America, and Sky Sports Box Office and HBO in America as well. James Miguel against Brandon Gonzalez in an IBF final eliminator. Uh, for the chance to, to face the winner of Carl Froch against George Groves with the WBA and IBF Super Middleweight Championships of the World. Everybody here on this table available to one-on-one, -on -one, sort of media here, thank you so much for, for your time. And uh, we look forward to a very, very entertaining and enjoyable journey with James DeGale. Thank you very much.